Hello, Senator Turner. Thank Hello, you so much somebody. for joining us. Hello, somebody. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> hey, Nita, how you doing? Hey, Tim Black. Yeah, let's go on the overlap. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, Man. my God. It's so good to be. Look, I was just on a Zoom call, and they had a virtual background, so my little green screen, that's an Instagram screen. <laughs> yeah, Instagram. Um, like I was on a call it was almost two hours that was hosted by PDA, the Progressive Democrats of America, Roots Action, the Bernie Delegates Network, and I'm telling you, baby, it was fire because we'd have drawn oh, a wow. line in the sand over Medicare for all. And there are over Wait. 700 people who have signed that petition, delegates, to say that, oh, yeah, we draw on a line in the sand for that platform committee. But anyway, how y'all doing tonight? Good, yeah. you. o'clock at night on the East Coast. I know. Thank you so much for, for coming on this hour. And yeah. I have, and after two hours of- Two uh, hours uh, of Zooming, baby. Zooming, yeah. Calls. I yeah. saw Nina Turner on in South Carolina on the campaign trail, man. And she is got a motor that just keeps on going, man. She's phenomenal. She got a lot of stamina. She could do she could do 12 hours if she had to. She is amazing, guys. I got some great footage of her talking. Nina, I'm still reeling off of your video. I did a video about you in the bowl, uh, the bowl of <laughs> and and uh oh, no. <laughs> I gotta go watch that too, but. Oh, you are something else, people. man. More people, Katie and Tim Black, were concerned about what I said than the suffering of the people. Mm. Yeah. You know, the irony of that, that you want to try to make something of just, I, I don't know, that reporter caught me on the day where I, I didn't give, <laughs> well, obviously. A bowl, a bowl yeah. of, you know what, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just laid it out. It's, it's really hard to see all the suffering that's going on in this country and the world and not be upset, not to feel something, some real emotion. This ain't about being pr prim and proper when people have lost their damn health care, when people right. are about to lose their homes, when we can't even get into the platform of the Democratic parties, Medicare for all, protections for our Palestinian sisters and brothers, decriminalizing yeah. marijuana. Hello, somebody. Can't even get that in the wish list because it's non binding. What does that say? One of these two parties is gonna have to stand up for the people, Katie and Tim Black. I'm mad, you know. I had a boss who used to say, If your hair was on fire, act like your hair is on fire, right? Well, damn it, my hair is on fire, and I'm tired of pretending like it's not. Yeah, no, I mean, it's we we talked about this before. How, how dare people be more angry, be angrier at Bernie Sanders for being angry about poverty than? than being angry about poverty. Like they are angrier at his anger about poverty than they are about the poverty. Right. Or are you about you saying that instead of about the thing that you're actually describing? Yeah, as I mean, this is the point. Trump is a clear and present danger. Check, check the box. We, we got that. We right. get it. Right, right, right. Clear yeah. and present danger. He's a madman and he must go. Okay, so there. I've said that so many times, but the, you know they don't pick up on that part. The man right. is a clear and present danger. How so, however, there is a need in the United States of America to have leadership that will provide vision and provision for the people. That these two things are not mutually exclusive. That we can talk about how Trump must go and hold the Democratic nominee accountable. How about that? Can we just do that? You know, I just talked to folks. People are losing, crying on, on that last Zoom call about people who don't have health care in this country. And even in the midst of COVID, you know, what was that? Uh, Governor Sarah, Sarah Palin o over the ACA, you guys remember this was making up whole death panels. Right. Well, it's, it's some real death panels happening right now. Jesus, yeah. what do we have to do? What Can one of these parties stand up for the people? Right. Well, do you think Congress, I'm sorry, Katie. No, 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 keep going. In please, the yeah. House of Representatives, I mean, riddle me this and then, Tim and Kat Katie is your show. Keep going. Keep going. The House of Representatives, controlled by Democrats, could not even pass the measure to cut the Pentagon budget by 10%. Mm. I'm just saying, Republicans, the, today's Republicans, rotten to the core. We right, but we that. know that. Right, we already know that, yeah. But does that abdicate the responsibility of the Democrats to do something for the people in the House of Representatives? You can't pass a measure to cut the Pentagon budget by 10 percent, a budget that from the discretionary budget of one point one nine trillion dollars of that 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 particular discretionary budget. Because there are other budgets they pull from. I'm just talking about that one. 
61% of that budget goes to the Pentagon, over $720 billion, and they couldn't cut it by 10%. Katie and Tim, my hair is on fire. What little I got, because I keep cutting it. My damn hair is on fire. I was like, good thing it's so short. Yeah, don't yeah. go too long or it's going to be fire. a brush fire. Yeah. My yeah. scalp is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, that's your in solidarity. Jesus right. Christ. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. No, I mean, that's, do you think though that we have to play chicken with them? Like, I, because if they know, I mean, I, if they know that we're going to vote for them or urge them to vote, like what leverage do we have? So, I mean, maybe make, we do have to say we're going to not, I, I almost feel like we, we should say this off camera or something because they, we don't want to get, they, we can't reveal it to them. But like, I, how else are Dems going to actually not just do the right thing, right? The moral thing, but it also happens to get people out of the house to vote. Yeah. Yeah. We got to motivate people. I mean, there are plenty of polls out there saying that young people are not motivated from all ethnicities are not motivated. There was a recent CNN article that came out that showed very clearly that, um, that vice president Biden is not even getting the share that, that uh, secretary Clinton got a black vote. You, you know, how about we motivate some people to come out the vote the way you do that, show that you're going to be different, that you're going to change their material, uh, change the material conditions in their lives, that there's something about you different than Trump other than to not be him physically. Right. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, yeah. You got a lot of uh, you got a lot of love in this chat. Nina. He's a nut. Senator Turner, yeah. He's yeah, a madman. Tim Black, he got to go. He does. And I do, too, Nina. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Katie, I love you. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much for coming. Me. You're a very inspiring, positive person. So how are you keeping the faith? And how are you? Well, you have this great podcast. Hello, I somebody. Do. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Yes, please, y'all, go on to my website, ninaturner.com. Go on to sign up for a sister. Subscribe. Hello, somebody. And we're talking about issues like this, Katie, and you do too. And I just want to thank you. You are one of the progressive champions, and we are so fortunate to have you because you speak a truth. We need people who can speak a certain type of truth at all times. And you are one of those people. We need that. So thank you. It's an honor to be on the show with you. And I know I've been with you and, and uh, Matt. You know, you got a whole bunch of hands, and you yeah. do a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, hello, somebody. So it launched in May and it's really blowing up. I want to shout out the Dems abroad. We got sisters and brothers abroad who helping a sister. And my show is international. You know, wow, it's good to be able to say that. My podcast is international. But yeah, we're talking to both, you know, people of note and then people who are nationally known because everybody's of note. And then also just everyday people. And we want to take a walk in other people's shoes. We want to talk about what the challenges are, what the solutions could be. And for people to be able to vent and just talk about these issues. Katie, people are so heavy right now. This moment is heavy. And if you are poor, the working poor, the barely middle class, hell, if you, you were catching hell before the pandemic, you show enough, as my grandmother used to say, show enough. You are show enough catching hell right now. And so we do need the political class to get a clue and actually serve the people right now. You know, Katie, in, in my religious tradition, you know, I'm a Christian. My mother was a preacher. So my siblings and I went to church eight days a week. And there's a scripture that said, and I think it was Paul who said, is that when I was a child, I spoke as a child. You know, I thought as a child, I'm paraphrasing. But now that I'm a man, I put away childish things. Now that I'm a woman, I put away childish things. I'm using that to talk about evolution of consciousness. We all are not 100% right on everything. And hopefully we have evolved. You know, the great... Uh, uh, Muhammad Ali had a quote that said that if at the age of 50, I'm still thinking like I'm 20, something is wrong. And I'm paraphrasing him too. So I want to use that in politics that hopefully these people who were elected to serve, not special interests to serve the people, hopefully they will have an evolution of consciousness. And Katie, I want to use Medicare for all as one of those examples. You know, we heard those folks on the stage talking about Medicare for all who want it, Medicare for all who choose, don't mess with people's uh, employer based right. Medicare right. me uh, health care. They ain't got it no more. Now what? So if a pandemic doesn't move these people, and, and we can fill in the blank, Katie, you can fill in the blank with other issues. If these issues don't move these folks, I don't know what will. If people literally dying. Right. That is such, people, yeah. Go ahead, Katie. No, 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 no please. No, no, no. Ahead, do your thing. No, I was going to say, I mean, that's such a concrete black and white issue of life and death and health. You know, like if that doesn't move you, 
to the core, what what will? What will? True, yeah. true drug panels happening right now in the United yeah. States and the world, and we can't even get just a symbolic gesture. I know that's what's so process. scary. It's like it's such hubris and entitlement, and they really are saying that they couldn't care less. Yeah, uh, about this. Bad. That's that's what that's what is. they're running on. They're that's they're holding. Yeah, they're really holding the country hostage, right? They're yeah. holding people like a hostage and basically being like, we are not going to be calling in the you know federal troops. So vote for us, and we're not going to give you anything except for we're not as bad as as Trump. It's a very low bar. Yeah, very, yeah, very and low. it's not going to work. I mean, even if it works, it may work this time. Like it could work this time be because I think. Though. Yeah, but exactly, it's gonna the the same yeah. problem is going to be. It's still going to be there. We're going to be there.